Hello all, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we shall discuss on a dialog box uh, parameter and uh, initialization tab uh, in the mask editor of the library. So I have taken a simple example of uh, forward collision warning. Forward collision warning system uses both speed and uh, distance calculation uh, to keep the vehicle safe. The most common type of uh, distance sensor uses radar to detect the traffic uh, ahead of uh, you and uh, also uh, some systems uses la lasers, cameras or uh, the combination of uh, both. So these sensors uh, detect a slow moving or a stopped vehicle uh, in the lane and uh, warn if a collision is more likely to happen. So here we have uh, two inputs, speed and distance, and uh, one output that is uh, a forward collision warning, uh, which will be given uh, uh, to the driver on the dashboard. And also there is a, a data out uh, information. Uh, this is uh, for initialization purpose. Say for example, um, depending upon the speed value, uh, some information needs to be sent out to other module. Uh, how uh, this can be done via initialization, we can uh, explore here. So let's start, let's uh, right click and uh, mask, edit mask. So here if you see in the icons and ports uh, which we discussed in our previous video already I have added here like the display part, the color and the port label. Uh, yes, for both input and output. And also, uh, yeah, uh, in the parameters, yeah, uh, parameters and initialization we'll uh, discuss before that. Yeah, let's see the library uh, that is uh, for the forward collision warning. So let's go inside. So here the speed and distance is something uh, the real time value that we will get uh, uh, yeah, from the sensor. But for time being I have taken as a constant value which uh, we will uh, which we can edit we will edit uh, as per the need. So yeah just think that if the speed is greater than 10 if the speed is greater than 10 uh, then uh, the uh, vehicle that is ahead of our vehicle is uh, uh, moving at a greater speed so which means that we do not uh, th there should not be any forward collision warning and if the speed is less than 10 means there is a traffic there are there is more traffic ahead and uh, uh, yeah we need to provide a uh, forward collision warning and we'll send one here and similarly when it comes to distance if the distance is greater than 20 then uh, there should not be any warning and if it is less than 20 which means that the traffic ahead is more so uh, we'll uh, provide a warning and uh, yeah, this uh, we are using a logical or operator because any one of uh, this condition uh, is true, then we have to uh, provide the warning. So we have taken or. And similarly, when it comes to uh, the initialization uh, tab or uh, like the data out uh, output here, like depending upon the speed value, if the speed is greater than 20 or any, any condition for that matter, we will try send out one value, uh, else if we will send another value uh, that is uh, apart from the, the first value that uh, we, we will send as a data out. So we'll see how we can do it in the initialization part. Yeah, let's go to mask, right click, mask edit mask and uh, yeah parameters and dialog so we'll add uh, the two uh, main parameters that is speed and uh, yeah speed and distance because if you see here in this constant i have configured uh, i have given the constant value as speed here and also when it comes to distance i have given it as distance so this we need as a dialog uh, box parameter configured for these two values so we'll just right click mask edit mask and uh, parameters we'll add uh, one uh, yes uh, speed yeah here as well speed yeah and uh, the values will be like uh, the type will be edit and uh, uh, ena uh, like uh, will enable it and also will make it visible so these two things needs to be ticked here similarly we'll add it for the distance as well distance yeah here distance okay so uh, two main parameters are added and also when it comes to initialization if the speed is uh, sorry, if the speed is greater than, uh, yeah, S should be capital, we should provide the same name, greater than uh, 20, uh, we'll set data as, um, yeah, 0 0.015, uh, yeah, uh, else we'll set it as 0 0.1, uh, uh, yeah. So, and yes, so we'll apply this, just give OK. So now the, yeah, the minimal configuration is uh, uh, 
done so we'll just take this uh, library and we'll use it in a uh, we'll use it in a model so we'll just take a blank model and uh, yeah uh, we'll just drag and drop this library to this uh, sorry uh, to this blank model yeah so yes we'll use a display block will connect to this just to see the there is a warning or not and also to see the data out value yeah so when you uh, as you have already added the dialog box parameter for this uh, speed and distance as soon as you double click we it will ask you uh, there will be a pop up and it will ask you for the speed and distance value uh, we will give the speed and distance such a way that there should not be any warning now so we will keep the speed to be 20 and distance to be 40 so yeah distance to be 40 apply and okay so we'll just run this and if there is no and also data out value is 0 0.1 now so now we'll simulate one condition for uh, yeah warning purpose so we'll just set the speed to 9 and also we'll set the distance to uh, 10 so there should be a warning now so you can just run and there is a one and also when it comes to this uh, yeah uh, for this uh, output right you need to set the speed value uh, somewhere uh, mm -hmm. yes somewhere uh, yeah just let's have a look uh, for the mask you can see it from here as well so like mask and uh, yeah uh, view base mask so if you go to initialization if the speed is uh, greater than 20 then it will give this value so we'll set something which is greater than 20 now so we'll keep it uh, mm -hmm. so 25 apply and okay and if you run you will uh, get the same so this will flow to the other module so this is how uh, you know you can configure the data box uh, sorry dialog box parameter and initialization tab so this was all about it so thanks for watching the video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up yeah thank you